The Bison is another strange submachine gun among heaps of other Russian subgun weirdness that came out of the 90s. Most Bisons are chambered 9x18. They differ from normal AK rifles by way of their smaller receiver with a cutout for the helical magazine. Also, the fact that it's a straight blowback design as opposed to a piston as of its progeny, the Vityaz. It was the Vityaz that ultimately became widespread among all Russian Spitsnaz units, be it for training or policing. In fact, if you really want to own a Bison yourself, you should really just consider getting a Vityaz clone, as it is really the same gun with a much more reliable magazine, more modularity, and a better round. Though that isn't to say that the Bison is bad. We didn't have any stoppages. However, we noticed that the different magazines would cause different rates of fire with the weapon. There was also an especially substantial rise to the rate of fire once the magazine was about halfway out of ammo. Listen carefully. Before we continue, a word from my sponsor, Commando Store. They supply military surplus gear that's capable, high quality, and collectible. They're meticulous about sorting for size and condition, so there's no need to roll the dice and hope that your item is serviceable or fits right. Outside of their surplus collection, they also produce functional reproductions of articles that are no longer available. You can keep up with Commando Store on Instagram and Twitter, but the mailing list is the best way to stay in the loop. You'll get four to five emails a month with what they've got in, its history, and some bonus humor. They also have off-the-wall promos frequently, so you're bound to get a good deal whenever you check in. Kalishnikov himself seemed to be a little uncomfortable with the higher rate of fire, though I didn't have much trouble with it personally. I love this gun. It has great balance, and I can always let off long, accurate bursts with confidence. A couple of other quirks with the Bison would be that this one in particular didn't like to feed brass cased ammunition. I'm not sure if that was common with most Bisons, but this one would only feed steel case 9x18. And um, yes, you definitely can hold it one handed, Mr. President. I is he drunk? Well, r remember, um, the first rule of firearm safety is to have fun. Clanky sounds? Yeah. 